You have an environment built on Microsoft Azure and it needs to be FedRAMP compliant. What are the security controls you need to put in place in order to accomplish this? Hi, my name is Scott Chapman. I'm the CISO for Project Hosts. And today I want to talk with you about the SI family of FedRAMP controls. There are 28 controls in the SI family and you inherit two from Microsoft Azure. SI stands for System Information and Integrity. It starts off by talking about monthly vulnerability scanning and remediating any vulnerabilities within 30 days, also tracking them in your POEM. I go into more detail about what's required for these in my videos on the RA family and CA family of controls, which overlap with this first control set. Next in the family, there's discussion about needing antivirus software. All of your servers need to have antivirus software on them and they need to be controlled centrally by a server that will ensure that daily updates occur. There has to be some sort of alerting mechanism when there are issues. The way we do that is by putting our logs from our antivirus software onto the servers and having them picked up by our LCE, which correlates them with other logs so that we can get an alert that is correlated across lots of things going on in the system. In addition, you need to have intrusion detection software. This has to be at any external boundary of your environment and key internal boundaries. We do this through having host intrusion prevention software on, on all servers that have any external access at all, any external IP address. And in our DISA IL5 environments, we have host intrusion prevention software on every server as required by the DoD. This software, again, we throw the alerts through our log correlation engine so that they're correlated with other things going on in the environment. And again, they're centrally managed for updates. In SI, there's also discussion about the need to be watching to see if there's anything that comes into your system that was not authorized. Or is there any unauthorized software, an unauthorized virtual server, or any unauthorized component that comes into your system? In the CM family of controls, I talk about an inventory tool that we've put in place to be able to do this comparison to ensure that there's nothing in our system that wasn't authorized through our authorization tool. In addition, we run monthly scans for CIS and STIG compliance to ensure that all the operating systems are still locked down in compliance with those standards. And our LCE is constantly running and looking at logs to see what changes occur on the system. The final part of SI has to do with spam protection. That's not relevant for us since we don't host email servers. But with all of this in place, that's what SI has to do with and it's really protecting all that information and the integrity of your system. If you have any questions about SI or FedRAMP in general, please contact us. And please have a look at the other videos in this series and let us know what you think. Thanks very much.